God bless America. Yes, sir. And God bless JJ Peace. Appreciate it, man. The mayor. Eh, eh. The mayor. The mayor. Ironically, JJ is closer to being mayor than he thinks. Short yardage goal line demon. Demon. I love every time I'm watching a game on TV to hear them refer to him as the mayor of Oxford. And he is. He's a one-man welcoming committee, you know? I mean, he is um, He's the face of Ole Miss football and the face of Oxford. And so just thought it only made sense for him to officially be the mayor of Oxford. And what better day than the Egg Bowl where he can run this town on the field and off the field that day. I, Robin Tannehill, mayor of the city of Oxford, Mississippi, do hereby proclaim that J.J. Piggies will serve as honorary mayor on November 29th, 2024, effectively making him the mayor on and off the field while leading the Rebels to an Egg Bowl win. Do I have a motion to adopt that proclamation? All right, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Get ready, Mississippi State Board. <laughs> I'm a loss of words right now, but it's just all God. And I wouldn't be the guy I am without my family and all my friends and um, fellow athletes, so I appreciate them and I just thank God and the mayor. <laughs>
kids running around the football facility, but I think it's uh, really special that they want to be there for him, just as like, you know, as he wants them there for him. All those guys are. JJ's a great influence, Jackson's a great influence, uh, Diego, I mean, Eli, Reese, they're all just, those are probably like the main guys and like, I wouldn't change it for anything. Like they're, they've always been there and just want to play with them and see the best for him and teach him new things, whether they are good or bad, you know, like they're going to teach him it all. And that's, that's awesome. Yeah, I feel like when I mention something football, he always says football field, football fields. Let's go to football with my dada, except today we're just going to hang out with Uncle Jacks. No, wow, that was so good. Let me go get it. Ready, catch. Teehee, who's the quarterback now? So I feel like he loves coming up here and being around everybody and just everybody messing with them, doing something or chasing after him, throwing a ball to him or him throwing a ball or him just doing something. I feel like it just brings a like a, a light to a lot of people and just seeing him run around smiling, just run around the turf room doing whatever he wants, <laughs> just going to grab whatever's on the walls, but yeah, it's awesome. I think that says something about all of them and how, how much love they have to give too. From pregame to the square, everybody from players to fans want lucky bumps. You go out anywhere on the square and we'll walk, the whole football team will walk by Jackson and everybody and then people are yelling for Matt. Let's go to dinner with Dada. People are always stopping us for pictures and I don't know if it's because my dad plays football or because I'm just so cute. Oh, there you are. Do you want to hold my hand? Perfect. He doesn't even know what's going on. He just sees people come up and want a bump or want this and he's just smile and if people want to picture him, he'll be like, oh, so you want a picture, you should gotta say cheese, and then he'll say cheese, and he'll smile real big. My favorite part about, I think, everything is just that, like, Mac doesn't know this isn't normal. Like, he just thinks he's living his best life and that this is normal, and, like, he, I think one day, whether it be five years, three years, he's gonna look back and be like, wow, like, I was hanging out with those guys. He really is, like, living, like, a little boy's dream, and he just doesn't know it. As the holiday season hits full swing, so does the giving spirit within the Ole Miss football program. Today we are helping feed 100 families for Thanksgiving, just giving back to the community. We're here to pick up uh, some chickens that didn't want to do turkeys this year. Being able to give back to the people that support and cheer on us is uh, really a good feeling. You know, it's something that my parents always taught me, like when I'm able to uh, give back and I've been blessed through NIL and other things to be able to give back to the community. We're probably in need of this too, as you'll find out when we go in the freezer. Mm -hmm. We've got enough to probably cover about 10 or 20 people tomorrow, but we're gonna have about another 80 coming. Mm -hmm. So you you just provided everybody that's coming tomorrow that we wouldn't have had otherwise. No problem at all. Thank you very much. Again, good luck. Thank you. I'm not gonna get to meet everybody that comes through there uh, tomorrow in the upcoming days, but it just feels good that, you know, I'm able to help be a part of, or make something happen for others to be able to enjoy their Thanksgiving with their uh, family on the holidays. Generosity is a staple for Thanksgiving, but so are grudge matches, none bigger than the annual Turkey Bowl. I've never lost a Turkey Bowl in the time that I've been here, and it's my senior year, so if I lose, that's, that's pretty bad. We were on a bad step last year, but hopefully we can bounce back, you know? Feeling good, we got some new group of boys coming in. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident, hopefully. I gotta put my, no, this gonna go in the season though. I'm just a fan. Both teams. <laughs> Both teams. Both have teams. Fun. Yeah, have fun. <laughs> I think that's a 15 yard penalty. We can't do that one. I actually didn't see that. I'm sorry to the viewers. Yeah, you know we don't win. Obviously, I mean, I'm the personality hire. Go, go, go. Well, hey, we got Y'all are acting members. like I know what all these, right these arrows We're mean. Going on in the minute, so.
like I said, a lot to a little. With bragging rights secure, the offensive line turned their eyes to a festive feast. I got a little Thanksgiving, O-line, quarterback, specialist, good time. This is our fifth year to do this, so um, yeah, I learned from Missy Broker how to do it. So I took over two years ago after Nick graduated, and this is it, but I love it. I'm really excited for some Thanksgiving food. I eat a lot. I'm going to put up big numbers tonight, as I always do. Nothing unusual. Nothing unusual. You know, we have a special group of guys and a lot of people who come from all over the country. So it's fun just bringing cultures together and people together who love each other. And Thank you very much. Yeah, it's awesome. It's just a big family. We miss Thanksgiving. We miss a lot. We're always together, and it just feels like a second family. It's pretty awesome. Thank you. These are just my brothers out here. <laughs> This is really my true family. Thank you, Coach Savage. Thank you, Lane Kiffin, for giving me another family. <laughs> now, are you in charge of the cigars for Friday? Is that your job? That is a factual statement. I am in charge of the cigars. Uh, we're locked and loaded and ready to smoke it up, as always. Fire extinguisher on hand, too. I'm thankful for all my friends and family and Romy. Right, Romy? Yeah, girl. You happy. Romy going to get whatever she wants for Christmas? And see. <laughs> <laughs> the last home game is a graduation. The flood of memories ushers in the brutal truth. Time waits for no man. It's just so special. There's really like not a lot of words. I mean, a lot of these guys have done this for so long, and so now for it all to kind of come together in like one last game, the last dance. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> that? That's the one. We're gonna get bumped. He was giving high fives. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Big hug. Say love, love you. There's Ela. Ela. It's Ela. What's up, dog? How you doing? Look, there's me. Did you drop you off? Yeah. Everybody take in these seniors playing for the last time, especially Jackson Dart. Take, enjoy all of them. But what Jackson Dart has done for Ole Miss, it, it should always be appreciated. And this is always the saddest, but yet yeah. the best segment of the year. It's the last one from the Grove before the battle for the Golden Egg. So Mississippi State gets the football first. Eight in a row, and the Bulldogs. 12 straight games, they get the ball first. You can best believe nerves are going to play a part in it early on in this game. A four-man rush, and he's intercepted. Ole Miss with an early takeaway by Chris Paul, and the Rebels have early momentum. The Pooh Paul pick led to an early three for the Rebels. But this is a rivalry, and these dogs were not about to roll over. Van Buren has started this game 0 for 4 with a pick. Nick Barmira on in pump formation with Micah Davis back to return for the Rebels, and they fake it! These are just the kind of chances that you're going to want to take if you're Mississippi State, see if you can get some extra possessions, gain some momentum. They're going to turn it all loose here today, fourth down. In the pocket, he fires, crossing route. It's going to be caught by Coleman. He's to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Crossing route to Kevin Coleman and made the catch and ran to the near pylon and stuck it in in Mississippi State. Leads six to three. And here's another element of Ole Miss's attack. They bring J.J. Pegues in. And he'll take it to the outside. And Pegues motors his way into the end zone. He carried Hunter Washington with him. A five-yard touchdown run for the mayor, J.J. Pegues. Buren keeps it, cuts inside, and dives for the goal line. He's in, stays back in front. Twenty-four points hit the scoreboard in the first quarter alone, but anyone settling in for an offensive shootout was in for a rude awakening. Let's go, D. And that one's blasted before get back to the line of scrimmage by Pegues. 
Third down play. He's going to run, and he'll be stopped at the 13. Ole Miss will be punting again. Bucks have thrown. Lobbed to end zone in the sunset and knocked away from Mosley by Trey Amos. Here comes the blitz. He's hit and sack. He failed right there. Yeah! yeah! Good down, Poo. Here's the snap, and in the backfield, in trouble as Daniels on the handoff. Jared Ivey said, nope, not this time. The second quarter became a staring contest for the defensive units, and Mississippi State was the first to blink. After the punt, the Rebels will start at their own 11-yard line, trailing by four. Ulysses Bentley is the running back. Bentley runs up the middle. He breaks in the clear. He may go! To the 40. To the 10. To the 5. Touchdown, Ole Miss. Yeah! 89 yard touchdown run. And Mississippi State's going to head to the locker room with a three point deficit. This is our half right here. We get the ball first, okay? We've got to take this thing to them. All right, establish your personality like the game just started. Let's play physical, let's take care of the ball, go after the quarterback. Let's play a great half together, man. Let's give everything we got. Team on three, one, two, three. Hey, finish, finish. Hand off and in the backfield, breaking through is Walter Nolan to get his arms around Devon Booth. Is that QB right now? It's a pop pass and it is intercepted. Trey Washington had a red perfectly in his first pick of the year. Another quick run and that's complete to the 20. We broke it up. Kramer couldn't quite squeeze it. Here's Van Buren. Pressure. Got away for a moment, didn't get swallowed up. One, two, three, Jersey. Yeah! yeah! It was vintage Landshark defense from Pete Golding's gang after halftime, setting up Jackson Dart for the Haymaker. Right up the middle, Dart backpedaling, lobs. This dot get to him. He backed up and threw it off his back foot. And really good coverage by Mississippi State. That just simply was a physics of I it. Mean, you got a 6 6 Caden Prescorn just simply out wrestled, out jumped the defender, and came away with a touchdown. The big play by Coleman put State on the front porch, but the Ole Miss defenders had no plans of letting the dogs in the house. Got a lead blocker, they didn't pick him up, and Van Buren taken down maybe a loss of a yard. Let's go, D! Stand up! Oh, yeah, two! Van Buren delivers, and a stretch from Treyarch cut short. Fourth and goal from the two. Van Buren takes the snap. Here comes pressure. Incomplete. And the Rebels will take over. That goal line stop cut. That thing real. That thing is real in the trip. The goal line stand left the maroon and white scrambling to stop the clock-eating Rebels. Over the middle, wide open, Caden Lee hauls it in at the 29. Draw right up the gut, he's got the first down across the 45 to the 46. They were running those in the Smith boy all day. He got to get his weight up. With the golden egg all but secured, 
the honorary mayor of Oxford sealed the deal. So it'll be fourth down and one with 50 seconds to go. It's at the 45. And he bowls straight ahead to pick up the first down. And the Rebels will put this thing on ice. And the Ole Miss Rebels are going to knock off the Mississippi State Bulldogs 26 to 14. I'm undefeated. There go. Undefeated egg bowl. I'm looking for my mama. You know we run the sip, man. I love you here. I love Oxford. Love. Bulldog crap. I told y'all it's game time at Thanksgiving. It's game time now. We're making that state pack. Trophy staying here. Egg bowl, yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> Was able to be the mayor, you know what I mean? Got this guy blocking me 24-7. Big Mike, you, bro. You don't need nah, no blocking, nah, man. Nah, you don't need right. no blocking. Nah, man, it's love, man. I'm going to miss this place, but at the end of the day, Ole Miss going to win. That's the standard that's always been a standard. What I know. Love y'all. It was my first time in this Egg Bowl rivalry. I love that we came out on top. Howdy, Todd. It's hard moving away from family, and uh, this place was just amazing. To, uh, Everybody involved with me and uh, I'm just grateful. I think that's the biggest thing. I'm just thankful to be here. <laughs> 